Okay, you guys, it is Monday. This vlog's probably gonna be mostly a store prep vlog because I'm gearing up for another shop update. The enamel pins arrived. They were the last thing I was waiting for. So, it's full steam ahead to get everything done now. The shop opening date will be this. I'm gonna put it over the screen right now. So look right now on the screen if you wanna see the shop launch date. Because <laughs> at the time I'm filming this clip, I don't know. And so that's gonna be the Ducky collection and I'm restocking a couple washies and oh, the locking clutches for the pins. But before I get into shop stuff, I just wanna do a quick recap because it feels like we've had so much company this, this weekend. Like we had Alex here on Thursday, our friend Alex from Vancouver. And then we had Christian's cousin stop by with her two daughters. And then we had my brother-in-law and sister-in-law who were coming back from a trip along with my nieces. Uh, they stayed here one night and in the morning we had brunch with my other brother-in-law and sister-in-law and so yeah It was like a weekend of seeing people and so I was busy with that also on Friday I put up okay. That's a horrible shot. Yeah, I put up the curtains I washed them dried them and hemmed them and there are eight pieces So I spent like a good chunk of my Friday doing that. I do like them although I find them a little dark and a little too vibrant. I wish they were a little closer to the color of this pillow. And maybe I should have just chosen something not terracotta or green, like maybe a medium brown or something, I don't know. But um, I just wanted that pop of color because I don't know if we're gonna paint any walls in here. It would be quite the feat with the <laughs> high walls. But So I was like, you know, this is gonna be one of the major pops of color. I think it's already growing on me more, but as I add more greenery, I think it'll help balance things out. Plus like having something on the wall here, I would love to paint something huge to go here. And I think that would help because right now it's just like, whoa, big chunks of color and nothing to really balance it out a whole lot. But you know, that's what it looks like. Hey Kiki. <laughs> I also put some bulbs in here. I went to Dollarama to get some bulbs for this lamp. And while I was there, I saw this placemat and so i put that there the green bubble thing i already had it was just sitting like in the corner of the dining room so i brought that out with along with a few other little plants although i need some taller ones for back here because the couch is kind of covering them that little sock guy was also in that pile of stuff and so i put him in the lamp i don't know if he's gonna stay in there but he's there for now and i'm gonna insert some clips from the evening when i was setting this up you will see pool noodle bumpers on the table because my nieces were here and i you know <laughs> wanted some kind of protection against the table those pool noodles were also obtained at dollarama everything just looked so cozy with the lamps on and i put some batteries in that little cloche mushroom lamp thing you know <laughs> the one i painted in gouache I'm just loving it in here. Oh, I also got those pillowcases in. I don't think I vlogged that, but the white pillowcases came in. And so those are also on the pillows. So cozy, yeah. And it's still a winter wonderland in these parts. It's snowing today. Although it hasn't been too cold, so that's nice. I'm getting so hungry, but Christian went to go get cat food and he's gonna pick up subs on his way back. And so I'm just waiting for that. I'm starving. I need my sub. Hi, baby. <laughs> this is what I got up to last night, making more of these clutch packs, the locking clutches. I was doing that while Christian was at work, and I think I'm gonna put him on this duty today. He needs to clean up some cardboard downstairs first, but then I'm gonna get him to build some of these packets while I start quality checking my enamel pins. Cause he's gonna help me pin the pins and sleeve them and stuff, but I need at least like quality check some first. He can do this while I'm quality checking pins. This is my product with the lowest profit margin cause these things cost me 20 cents each. So a pack of 10 is $2 and I sell it for 2.50. But it's just like a nice thing to offer in the store. Oh, we got a little, we got a little goodie. Oh, a split ring, hello. I like to collect little golden top hats and I sort them into groups of 10 and put them into little baggies. Okay, unboxing the pins. 
I can't believe these have been sitting here since Friday and I haven't opened them. <laughs> I was like, I gotta wait for the vlog. <laughs> oh, <gasps> babies. I was gonna rip this out. Now I did see a photo of these because my manufacturer always sends a photo of the pins right before they ship out. But I haven't seen them in person until now. Oh my God. Babies. I almost didn't do a pin for these duckies because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then I thought of this and I was like, this is perfect. Both of them swimming in the water. I love it. Oh yeah. We got the Bailey J back stamp there two posts with the blue clutches and because it's cartoony i went with the black nickel metal well that's a lot of ducks to go through i ordered 750. that was my attempt at compromise because i tend to order a thousand of a lot of things and i was like let's dial it back a bit but since i'm doing bundles let's not dial it back too much i also haven't come out with a new pin in a while so yeah we'll see now, how does it look with the backing cards? The backing cards are green, so it contrasts with the duckies. Plus it's like, you know, the greenery in nature around the water that the duckies are in. Very simple. So this one already, the one I pull out happens to have a defect. There better not be a lot like that. I mean, the ducks might cover that. I love using this honeycomb cardboard for pinning pins, and I have a lot of it. They might cover the speech bubbles, no. I thought I sized this out correctly in Photoshop, but maybe I didn't. Okay, actually it's not too bad. The bow's covering the one side a little bit. I'm a little ducky swimming in the water. Vivis, vivi, vivis. I just heard Christian get back. <gasps> my sub, my steak bomb sub. Eh, eh, eh. Where'd he go? Hmm. Well, I'll be taking this. <laughs> well, this is different. Mm -hmm. Roasted garlic sauce. Oh, whoa, that was more liquidy than I thought. <laughs> I often add a bit of Perinase, but. Ooh, that looks like mucus. <laughs> hey, you get back in your bed. What do you think, it's just pet kiki time now? I'm just sitting down to finally work. I was just tidying a little bit while Christian was breaking down boxes down here. By the way, I can't even remember the last time I had one of these. It was definitely before we moved. Like, it's been too long. Although I try not to drink too many energy drinks. I'm scared I'm gonna get like a kidney stone or something from these, but you know, occasionally. I need some Red Bull yellow. They're also pretty expensive. Ooh, but so delicious. Ooh. I'm probably gonna mostly grade pins today, although I, I will pin a handful of them. And she's on my shoulder, thank you. But I'm gonna get Christian to do a lot of the pinning, so I wanna save that for him. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow. I'm considering it. I could do like a pin packing live stream. Cause then I would wanna pin them on the backing cards myself. Like I don't wanna be just grading them, but at the same time, I'm trying to get Christian to do a lot of the work. So. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I'm gonna save a bunch of these because they can be used for my locking clutch sets. Right now they're going in glassine sleeves because I happen to have a lot of those small glassine sleeves because I ordered the wrong size once. But these can also be repurposed to hold those. And it's nice because they're resealable. Because right now the little packet I gave people, you'd have to tape it back shut. Whereas this, you can keep your extra locking clutches in the little zipper pouch. So that's probably the route I'll go in the future. This is a pretty big bag too. Usually my pins come in much smaller bags, but these are kind of big pins. 
Look at that, they're wide anyway, they're not super tall. It's almost like two ducky pins in one. So many duckies swimming in so many waters. Don't make me bust out the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I hate using that thing, but sometimes it's necessary. I'm also noticing a lot of these have some issues with the plating. Some of them it's not too noticeable, others it's more noticeable. It gets kind of like rainbowy at the bottom. Some of that just wiped right off. Wait, am I gonna need microfiber cloth or am I gonna need like my hand oils to rub this off? I need bare finger. Again, my thumbs are gonna love this. I mean, they've been feeling better. My hands and like my forearms and thumbs and stuff. I feel like they've recovered a bit, but this is not gonna help. <laughs> so I'm using the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and it comes right off with very little force, but I'm having to do this to nearly every single pin. So it's kind of slowing me down. I have a little pile here where it's just ones that I've cleaned. So I grab them. Do a little scrub, dry it, and then set it here. I'm not even grading it. I'm just doing that initial wipe and then I can grade after. So this is gonna be an extra step. It's gonna slow me down, <laughs> but it must be done. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be here all day doing this. So the bag had a 50 on it, meaning there were 50 pins in it. Those are the A grades there. And then over here, we have eight B grades. So this manufacturer, I usually get 10% B grades. So I was hoping to only get five B grades in that bag, not eight. But we'll see how it is overall. Maybe some bags will be better, I don't know. But let's pin a few. Let's pin a few pins. Yeah, some of them have a little white fleck on them, but if the pin covers it, then that's fine. Does it? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then save the ones with the white flex for the B grades. It's the first batch though. I don't have like B grade backing cards set aside. We gotta find some. Okay, why am I finding so many? And maybe some A grades are also gonna have <laughs> white flex on the back. Although I do have more backing cards than I need because I have 750 pins and I have a uh, thousand backing cards. So I could just set aside ones with white flex and um, maybe I'll have enough good ones that I won't need to use those for A grades, you know? That just means I gotta go through these ahead of time because usually I just spot them as I'm pinning, but if there's that many white flex, we gotta go through these ahead of time. These are the soft touch cards. As usual, they're nice and thick and so silky. Okay. okay. Oh my god, it matches my nails. I went blue for my nails just because it kind of matches the duckies. I don't have that many nail polish colors to be honest, and most of them are pinks, but <laughs> we're going blue for the duckies. Okay, these are a little hard to grip because the pins are kind of low down, and so the pin doesn't overhang both sides of this thing because usually I like to grab the sides and drag down, but it's only overhanging on one side. Ugh. Gotta grip the top edge, I guess. Uh, what's the name of the Etsy store that has these again? Galloway Labs. Galloway Labs on Etsy. Makes these. I'm gonna flip this over, use this side. So, I feel like painting these is gonna be a little tricky. I'm trying to get the positioning right with the speech bubbles. Maybe I just shouldn't stress too much about it. Ooh, okay, that one's better. I think this one speech bubble was supposed to go between the bow. I think that's how I designed it. <laughs> it's hard because she's so much taller than this duck because of the bow, but that looks not too bad. I'm just looking at the Bailey J logo at the bottom and going, 
Some people say to print little dots on your cards so you know where to pin them, but like how are you seeing those dots? I don't understand because like when the pin is down, I can't see the pins. I can't see like the posts here. I can't see the location of the posts unless you're like this. <laughs> but then like who cares about that level of precision, right? Like <laughs> it's a waste of time. I'd rather just kind of eyeball it and eat. If a pin post is slightly bent, you can easily fix it with a pair of pliers. Oh my god, this is not my usual pair of pliers. I need my small craft ones. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, and maybe just give a quick fingerprint wipe. I love the green background. <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> oh. And the last step is the little glassian sleeves. Just fold them down like that. And that's that. I don't put any kind of sticker or anything, just, just like that. Okay, all the pins from bag number one are on backings and in sleeves. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for fully packing. The rest I'm just gonna grade. Okay, it's the next day and I'm gonna <laughs> do more pin grading. Um, maybe I'll push myself to see if I can get them all done today. But also just wiping them all with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is taking forever. Like, this is taking me twice as long as it should, but it must be done. So here's my A to B ratio so far. It actually got really good towards the end, like six, six, four, one, hmm? I mean, not all A grades are perfect, like perfect pristine, but like still, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And I'm tracking it this way just so I don't have to count them after the fact, like might as well do inventory this way. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sit down and do that. Uh, yesterday, I didn't grade pins into the evening. I stopped around 7.15 or so. I'm trying to take things a little easier than past shop updates because I'm always doing seasonal things to last minute and so it's this mad dash to get everything out. Even if something's not really seasonal, I always push myself too hard, I think, because gearing up for the shop update, I'll go from like when I'm up and at it all the way till bedtime working on stuff. And then when the shop actually opens, I'm packaging orders all day until I go to bed. And it's just too much. And now that I have Christian's help, I can relax on that kind of stuff a little bit. But also there's just no need to go that hard when it's not a seasonal launch. And if it is something seasonal, I need to order it way more in advance. Now these duckies, they kind of are just spring themed by nature, but that was not the intent. Like this is technically something you could release any time of the year. This has never been a seasonal release in my mind. And so I'm like, you know what? It's up when it's up. I guess the one thing is that my shop is closed. So it'd be nice to get it reopened. But other than that, there's no rush. Like it'll be open when it's open, you know? Although once I commit to a date, then I gotta make sure I'm ready for that date. You know what I mean? <laughs> but last night I was like, I'm not gonna keep working on these pins for the entire evening. And so I did a little bit of doodling on the couch. So it wasn't filmed because I was just chilling using my new like laptop holder thing that I showed you. It has an incline for me to put my sketchbook on. <laughs> I drew my sister's cat, Rena. This is just such a cute photo of her. I was just looking through photos I had on my phone. I was like, what can I draw? And I was like, oh yeah, this cute picture of Rena. Let's draw that. So I just used my pencil crayons and uh, just added lots of different colors and things. Kind of in the same vibe as that chicken and sparrow that I did. So that was my little drawing from last night because that's a big thing i do with my shop updates too is i like, won't do any art at all because i'm like no i'm busy with the shop i'm busy with the shop and it's like i gotta make time for that kind of stuff <laughs> feels like there's so many bags in here still i feel like i got through so many but there's so many left but it's because they're in packs of 50 instead of 100 so I'm trying to find some entertainment to watch while i work on this but my youtube sub inbox is absolutely dead I feel like it's 
been like that for a while. The people I watch just aren't posting as much or have seemingly stopped posting altogether. Maybe they're just on TikTok. Maybe they just need a break from it all. I don't know, but it's like, ugh. It's not as much as there used to be, and I'm trying to find new people, but I'm very, like, particular. <laughs> I get very attached to the, the channels I watch, and I'm like, I just want to watch these ones, but they're not posting. So I'm going to catch up on the boys. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I'm quite behind, so I'll watch some of that, I guess. And we somehow went from the best to the worst. <laughs> Oh, someone put me out of my misery. This is how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Not actually, but <laughs> I'm just sick of grading the pins. Like, I hate actually quality checking them. I love pinning them, putting them in their sleeves, but the quality checking I hate, especially when I need to like clean them. You know, it's just, it drives me nuts. And I have 150 left, so I'm through 600, which is pretty good. Although my B grade, rate went way up it just got nasty so whatever i took a break though i came over here i made a ducky TikTok. <laughs> i may have gone off the deep end on this one <laughs> you know how i put that chicken music in my last vlog i was like maybe there's ducky music out there somewhere i couldn't find anything i found something decent on TikTok, but it wouldn't let me use it because it's not for commercial use because my account's a business account. And so I was like, you know what? I have to do a voiceover and it'll make it more interesting anyway. But then I'm like, what the heck do I say? And I just, I uh, got a little intense with it and added some intense music. <laughs> TikTokers, prepare yourselves for the ducky invasion. Here's what Christian has brought down so far. We've got these duckies, those clutches, B grade duckies. We got more A grades down here. This makes me so happy seeing them on the backing cards. Yes. Oh lordy. I usually do a little stuff in the front so they can't fall forward. Just look at them all piled together in the bins. Oh, so many duckies. These last ones, I probably don't have to go through them because I doubt I would sell that many pins right off the bat. So I could probably leave those all together. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. I need to do something else content-wise for the vlog. And it's now Wednesday. I've been fussing with sending a parcel because I was trying to find a way to do it where I would not need a manifest so that I would not have to schedule a pickup for one package, but can't figure it out. And so I've just scheduled a pickup for one singular package, which feels kind of evil, but whatever, I, I technically paid for it, so. I had to fiddle with my printer too because it's hardwired now with an ethernet cable and so it was just showing up as an error thing because it was originally connected through Wi-Fi, but it's fixed. And today I think I'm gonna, well I'm gonna do a little bit of inventory marking in my spreadsheet, but also maybe build the bundles. I really need to make a list of everything I still have to do for my shop update <laughs> and then kind of go from there. But I'm kind of thinking of doing bundles because I'm considering maybe streaming it. But I don't really, I'm not like super energetic right now. I need to get the blood pumping or something. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a long stream, but I feel like every day this week I'm like, I should stream and then I don't. And so is this another one of those days where I just don't? Do I just want to chill with my shows and do it on my own? I need to set this down. My arm is burning. <laughs> but look what I picked up in the mailbox. <laughs> It's a package from Luna Lu. I ordered from her shop. It was kind of perfect because I was thinking about wanting another coaster for down here. Like I do have the mug rugs, but I also just wanted a coaster coaster. And I was thinking I need a ring holder down here because I take off my ring all the time when I'm packaging orders. And then she really says ring holders and coasters. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> It was meant to be whole. They might open this up upside down. <laughs> Whoops, I think it's supposed to be like this and I ripped the box. Oops, oops, oops. Look at the tissue paper though. It's got little duckies on it and bunnies. It's just like the tape on the outside. So cute. 
Oh, this is like paper paper, not even tissue paper. Cute, cute. Look how it's all wrapped. I did not order this. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I got an extra goodie. <laughs> cute card. Oh, Bailey, thank you. I couldn't help but include some extra goodies. Hey, <laughs> hey, love, love, love your work, Krista. So adorbs. So yes, I got a coaster. Everything's so cute. Oh, oh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff in here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the washi sealing the thin baby duck. Love yourself or else. We got a couple sticker sheets here. We got fairy bunnies and ducks with flower hats. <laughs> oh my God. These are putting my ducky stickers to shame. <laughs> so cute. Vivis, fun buns and duckies, how perfect. <laughs> a little recycle card with eco-friendly info. Kiki, you're being noisy over there. She's playing with the packing peanuts. <laughs> she also tried sitting in the box. <laughs> okay, now for Prince, oh my God. <laughs> So cottage core, I love it. <laughs> and we got little forest mushrooms and acorns and such. And then this is the one I ordered, farm fresh flowers. So everything I've shown so far except this print was just freebie extra stuff. Are you kidding me? You're gonna be losing money on my order, Jesus. Now, ring holder, coaster. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Strawberry ice cream. And a ring holder. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at that. I tell myself all the time, I need a ring holder down here, I need a ring holder down here. Now I finally have one. <laughs> so this will sit by the packing station. Will this also? I don't know, because I usually have a mug rug on here. Although I can't have too many coasters, can't have too many coasters. But the mug rugs are kind of big for the packing station. So maybe this will be the packing station coaster. And I can bring it over here when I'm trying to like set up a cute little aesthetically pleasing <laughs> setup or something if this is visible. <laughs> Thank you so much, Krista. So yeah, her shop is Luna Lou and she does things like Twitch streams. She does studio vlogs on YouTube. So check out her stuff, it's so cute. So for pin inventory, I'm just gonna tally these numbers. I'm gonna leave out the 150 remaining pins I have yet to do. Do you do? But I'm busy. I can't just pet you all the time. So these are the tallies, which I'll put in my spreadsheet, but this number is gonna get lowered because I only put up 97% of the stock. I withhold some for missing orders. Also because I will be doing the bundles, I need to subtract another 200 or so pins. Assuming I'm doing 200 bundles. <laughs> and my spreadsheet will calculate that for me. So, yeah. So yeah, I put those numbers under have, it automatically calculated sell. I'm realizing I need to do the weights for these new items. And then here it says bundle. And so then it reduces that number for a second cell column. Usually I don't have this at all unless I'm doing bundles. Usually I just go by this cell value. But because there is a bundle, we gotta subtract some extras, which gives us these, these numbers. And then you can see some are negative because I have not input everything yet. For my notepads and planner pads, I'm gonna assume I was given a thousand of each, then count out my B grades, and then just do the math to get how many A grades I have. And I think I've already input opalescent values. I need to do the ducky prints, which I think I'll just manually count because trying to do it by weight, it's been a bit finicky in the past. Oh, and I guess I need to do inventory for these. I keep finding more things to do. <laughs> but these ones I'm gonna do by weight because I don't feel like counting all these out. Twenty-four, twenty-five. I 
brought over one of these tables just to make a little L-shaped workstation for preparing the bundles. And I don't think I'm gonna stream it. I just feel so antisocial, you know. <laughs> but yes, when I was rearranging the table, I saw this sitting there. I forgot about this. I picked this up when I was a Dollarama a few days ago and I thought it would be a cute paint cup, like for paint water. Isn't that cute? Love me some spring merch, all the florals and pastels. By the way, I worked out the pricing for the bundles. So if you get the five by seven, that's $35 worth of stuff and eight by 10 is 38. And I'm gonna go with roughly 20% off, which brings it down to $28, save seven. And over here, 30, save eight. So five by seven bundle, eight by 10 bundle. The planner pads are gonna be the same price as the square ones, which is $8, because they cost the same even though they're bigger. And the notepads are gonna be $5. These ones that I did, the winter buns, these are 10 because these were really expensive. It is very thick paper, almost too thick for a notepad in my opinion, but you know, very premium, but it's like 10 USD for a notepad, ew. So I much prefer this. Thinner paper, half the price, yeah, yeah. The hollow prints are gonna cost the same as non-hollow, $5, $8. The cat print shipping price has gone down, I've noticed, because it skyrocketed for Canadian shipping at one point. And so my hollow prints were costing a little bit more than these ones, but it was actually pretty reasonable when I ordered these, so it's gonna be the same price. Oh, and the B grade notepads will be $3.50. B grade pins are $8.50. And washi, $4 as always. So, I got supplies pulled out. I might need to grab more after, but we're starting with this. For the prints, I have the exact amount I need, which is 100 of each. And that'll be my way of counting these out because I'm not gonna count finished bundles. I'm just gonna keep going till I'm out of prints and then I know I have the amount I need. Also, I got Christian to flatten all the boxes I had here and take them to the recycling place. And now I'm kind of wishing I had some of those because I need something to put these bundles into. We're spinning, spinning on the loop all night Right his backseat while he eats my soup for lunch Feeling dizzy, flying with Lucy in the sky Think he likes me, but baby I just do this for fun Are you ready for the weekend? Popping bubbles through the ceiling Sure I got dope, but don't need it Cause all I want is your healing The bundles are all assembled. You hoo! I've marked the five by sevens with a five, just so there's no mixing them up. Although you can just flip them backwards to tell, because if you just see chipboard on the back, it's the five by seven. But I just want to wait that it's easier to double check while you're packing. So those are all marked. These are all the eight by tens here, and I am very sweaty. Oh my god! I don't know why. Maybe because I made a coffee. <laughs> Standing plus coffee plus building bundles equals sweaty. Christian's currently making supper and I think I'm gonna stop here for the night to eat my supper and chill for the rest. Oh, he just shouted food is ready. <laughs> Perfect timing. Just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Probably watch some Survivor. Maybe a smidge of Korok hunting. I'm still trying to get all the Breath of the Wild Koroks. Holy, that looks good. We've gotten on the HelloFresh train. This is our second week doing it. <laughs> the food was delicious as usual, although I will say your chicken portion might not be that big if you got that, because they actually forgot our chicken. They gave us bacon instead. <laughs> so we had to use chicken that we had, although they refunded us 9.50 for that, so it's good. But um, yeah, I was just editing this and I didn't end off the vlog, so I thought I would do that. I'm getting sick. I mean, I was feeling off yesterday, but then today I woke up with a sore throat. I've been sneezing, sniffling, so... I'm hoping this doesn't affect the shop update. So as of right now, I'm still aiming to go for Sunday, April 9th at noon, MDT. But if this is not just a quick cold, then I might have to delay it more, you know, because I'm not going to be packaging orders sick. So 
Uh huh. At least the product is all prepped. Like I don't have to touch the product right now, except for doing product photos, but I keep the ones I use for product photos anyway. So I wouldn't be contaminating the stock or anything, but um, I guess stay tuned for updates. We'll see how this goes. But <laughs> I don't actually have that much left to do for the shop update. At least it feels like that. I, other than product photos, editing the photos, which is a big job. Just gotta like make the listings and do different settings with the shop. Like it's all just sitting at the computer kind of stuff. So that's easy enough and definitely doable within the next week. But again, it's just a matter of, am I still going to be sick when it's time to package orders? We'll see, because then I'll postpone it if that's the case. But that is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So I cut a couple pieces of wood and painted them pink, because I wanted this to look cute and make sense to paint it before I mount it. So painted them pink, drilled some pilot holes. I drilled pilot holes for mounting it to the ceiling, but also for mounting the actual boom to the wood. And it was so hard to figure out the exact positioning of where 